you know, always fiddling around with things. Teresa Phelps Martin here, um, slightly naked. <laughs> I don't have a crystal on, which is fine. We all hold a crystal in our heart, that energy that connects us. Um, Teresa Phelps Martin in the Soulfully You virtual realm for a yoga soul flow where we will um, embody in service of the truth. I kept debating on the conversation about embodiment, but I wanted to come back to the conversation of being of service. That is one of the biggest parts and pieces of yoga is how do you serve humanity? How do you serve your soul? How do you serve the highest? How do you connect to your own path and your own talents and your own gifts and um, create with it? That's really what Virgo energy is about. It's about taking the data, but it's the data of you. It's about connecting into your gifts, your attributes, right? and bringing them forward. So let's do it. We're gonna get on our mat. I have two blocks um, for my own hamstrings. If you don't have blocks, it's fine. I'm just trying to do a little better job of um, bringing the information forward. Okay, for those of you who um, have chosen to become a lunar, uh, uh, a lunar contributor, the, the, the generous and simple gesture of um, not only participating in yoga classes, but also um, being of service. So that carry on in a continuation, especially now that um, I won't be as interrupted by my kids and I have my sweet animal in the room. I really am grateful for it. It's $22 a month. There's a six month um, kind of commitment, but you can cancel at any time, right? So if life happened, everything, and for whatever reason I stopped this offering, I could reach out to you and tell you to cancel it, okay? But I'm showing up. So I really appreciate it, and um, it's easy. You can just go to my website, go to Yoga Soul Flow, and you'll see the option for Lunar. Um, it's cheaper than paying for class, and if you can't contribute, it's totally fine. And that is kind of being in service. I have to be in service of myself and bring forward this experience because I have found myself lately articulating out loud that I've been teaching yoga for almost 20 years. That's a long time. And so in that, we're gonna work with our physical body. We're gonna really feel that ability. We're gonna get into the gut more of our digestion, our viscera, so we will be wrapping into that core strength. And um, we're gonna do some intense leg stretch, and then we'll see what else comes. And at any time, if you all have requests, don't save them for when I'm live or in the replay. Let me know, send me a message, and I will meet you there. Lulu's here with me, so let's have a seat. Let's sit in the wellness of our heart, the wellspring of that energy that's in service. We'll call on the highest. My hand just naturally comes to my heart. Bring your hands to the place they are most comfortable for you. Feel your hips on the ground connected to the earth below. Draw into your core, feeling the connection to your ability to awaken and find the rapport within yourself, your inner world, so we can be bring that light forward out into the world. Connect with the highest to that which is not higher, the absolute, the divine, however you articulate it and breathe with it. We're gonna work with three breaths. So just coming into that triumphant inhale and exhale, the victory of just arriving on your mat, choosing to show up, choosing to serve the deeper layers of yourself 
and ultimately this time you give back to yourself because it's a mind, body, soul practice, we will actually give back to the world around us. Set your own intention for your time. Your own self culpa, one of the heart versus the ego. But thank your ego because that is what brought you to your mat. Bring both palms together. Bring your hands to the center of your forehead so that you can see clearly that you can have the vantage point of understanding there's so many different versions of the truth. And right here, right now, you're honoring your truth. Deep breath in, deep breath out. You're going to reach your hands forward in the direction that you're headed. Whether you're feeling the spine long, and then just let the fingertips stretch out. Let the arm bones pull out of the body, right? Go wide with the shoulder blades. And then plug the arms back in. Feel long, turn the palms up, big inhale. Arms sweep up overhead, which is hard to do when you're seated. And then exhale, bring the hands straight back down from the heart. Head bows down, fingers tip forward, eyes open. Looking into the palms of your hands. We're just gonna do that three more times. So we've ignited, now we're gonna just feel the sustenance. Bring the palms open, inner edges of the hands pushing. Arms stretch out, plug them back in, sweep them up overhead, offering it up, and then let the energy dissolve. Oops, I did it different this time, didn't I? All the way down. Bring the hands back to the heart. And then letting it go. It's as simple as that. Fingertips turn forward, palms up or together. Sweep the arms forward. Draw the arms in. Connect so as the arms pull in, pull the ribs in. Feel the head points drawing towards the navel as well. The tail anchored. Inhale the arms overhead. This is really hard for me. And this time we'll bring it right back to the center. Exhale, all the way back down to the midline. Here we go. Moving the blocks out of the way and moving off of your seat onto the earth. We're gonna go straight into pigeon pose if you need a chew door. Straight to pigeon toes, right knee's gonna come forward, left leg stretches back, all the way down to the earth, okay? And as you come into pigeon pose, Draw to the belly. You're going to inhale the back knee up, plug the thigh bone in, and exhale it down. Okay? Obviously, you're really hiked up. As you're hiked up, just bend the knee. Don't grab onto the foot. Just bend it. Draw into the belly. Feel if the shoulder blades are pushing off the back. Plug them back in. Connect to the core. Reground that foot. Lift the knee. Inhale into that forearm plank. Just getting physical. Left knee to the left elbow, right knee comes down, settle in. And as you settle in, we'll do it again. Tuck the left toes, I'm oh, sorry, back leg, right foot. Inhale the knee, plug the thigh bone in, right? So feel the energy draw again. Knee comes down, soften the heart, even out the sacrum. Feel that strength, then the knee's gonna lift up again. Climb into a forearm plank, soften the heart. Right, oh, I know what I forgot. Right knee comes forward, we'll come back to it. Draw in, hug into that energy, right? So you don't have to be as exaggerated. Feel the lift, notice how it's a little more familiar. <laughs> Maybe you didn't forget, right? Stretch the leg back, bring the left knee forward, right knee comes down. Plug in, bend the knee, soften the heart. Right, so we're not grabbing the foot. Stretch the leg out, knee lift. So we're feeling that sort of stability and strength of the movement. Plug in. This time, inhale, come up onto your fingertips. Feel that strength drawing in, hands to your hips, or stay on the earth. If you have two blocks, bring the hands onto the blocks. Find that length, draw in, shoulders into the back, right? Deep breath in, deep breath out. You're gonna bend your left knee and reach around with the right hand if you can. Just getting into a different stretch of the quad. Big, full breath in. And then exhale, free the foot, move the blocks, 
Come down to your forearms, throw in, back knee lifts. Come into that forearm plank, align. Shoulders are over the elbows, core is lifted, hugging in. All I'm doing right now for you guys is establishing a pattern, a rhythm, so we can really be in service of our vessel. Inhale, come all the way up. Fingertips, check in with the hips. Is one sweeping too far back? Is one too far forward? Draw into the core. Hands can come to the hips. Hug into that midline. Arm bones are plugged in, block or no block. And then bend the right knee, reach the hand for the foot. If the bending of the knee isn't working, then don't do it, okay? <laughs> Realign the shoulders, the shoulder blades. I'm not worried about the foot staying by the heel. It's a little different area of the thigh. You have authority, you have to choose how you're participating. Because the only person who lives in your body is you. Exhale, all the way down to your forearms. Last little forearm plank, drawing in. So in one of those stages that we did, maybe you were more intuitive and tuned in and observant that I forgot something. Maybe staying on the earth was more accessible or perhaps the bigger expression. Don't get caught up in the outer performance, but instead get caught up in the inner relationship. Exhale, knees to the earth, all the way back, child's pose. Three breaths, breathing into the depth of the belly. Inhale, look forward, come up onto your palms, arms are lifted, fingers are grounded, lift the undersides of the arms up, shoulders draw in, draw into the core, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. As you come into that downward dog, feel a bigger lift, more strength, that's crazy. And as you find that lift and that strength, connect into your center line. Shoulder blades are in the back. Thigh bones are into the hips. And then little stops. Walk forward with the feet. And as your feet come to the front edge of the mat, inhale, find length. Open the heart. Exhale, bow down. Three times. Inhale, find length. Open the heart. Exhale, bow down. Now, if you're paying attention to me, I am clawing my toes on the ground. Because I always lift and spread my toes, I got nerve stuff going on. So I'm just doing the opposite. Because I know myself well. My pattern is to overextend. So I just gotta change the pattern. Exhale, bow. Bend the knees, Utkatasana. Draw into the belly, rise up, Utkatasana. Feel that strength, that core connection. Push through the earth, inhale, rise. All the way up to standing, hands to heart center. What I want us to do today is, now that we're in our body, we've grounded ourselves, we've plugged the thigh bones in, we've plugged the arm bones in, feel into that midline, and we're gonna do, oh, let's do three rounds. I'm gonna be a little traditional in service of the lineage that's been handed down <laughs> in service of when I was living in New Zealand, finding yoga, because yoga got me through some really hard times, found a group of people who got together and did a Mysore practice and told them I knew, had done Ashtanga before, and I hadn't. And the person said, okay, do five Surya Namaskar A's. And I could do that. And then he goes, do five Surya Namaskar Bs. And I couldn't do it. So let's do Surya Namaskar B. Let's honor the humility and the patience and our ability to learn. Inhale, arms overhead. But be with the breath. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, down to the earth. Inhale, find length. Now, I'm not going to jump back into Chaturanga, but you can. Exhale, all the way to Chaturanga, Cobra or Upper Dog. Inhale, exhale, move it back. Inhale, the leg lifts. 
Exhale, step it through. Heel grounds. Inhale, rise up. I'm adding a breath, by the way. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, foot steps. Heel grounds. This is all supposed to be the same breath. I like to pause and ground first. Inhale, rise. Exhale to the earth. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Pull. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. So be with your rhythm. Oh, whoops. I forgot. Five breaths here. I got excited. I don't do tradition very well. <laughs> Feel your breath. Five breaths here. Downward dog. So that first one round is like learning, right? Inhale, lift your heels. You're supposed to jump. Exhale, bend the knees. I don't jump for lots of reasons. Both feet underneath your hips. Exhale, bow. <laughs> Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. That is Surya Namaskar B. Let's do it two more times. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, bow. Inhale, Utkatasana. Now, if you're really a traditionalist, you'd... Exhale all the way into Chaturanga so that the inhale is upward dog. But find your rhythm. You have to be in service of your being because we're not transcending the body, we're embracing the body. Downward dog, inhale, right foot forward, left heel grounds. I like to pause, exhale, reconnect, inhale, rise. Exhale to the earth. Inhale, plank. Chaturanga. Upper dog. Downward dog. Inhale, up. We would do downward dog. Inhale, step the foot forward. Exhale, ground. Inhale, rise up. Exhale to the earth. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. <laughs> Inhale, lift the heels, exhale, walk or jump to the front, bow, inhale, Utkatasana, exhale, hands to the heart. Here we go, round, oops, let's <laughs> just move, okay? If you do it wrong, know that I messed up too. When you get to that downward dog, five breaths. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, walk, step or fly to the front. Exhale, bow, knees bend, inhale, rise. All the way, hands to heart center. So we're supposed to do two more, but I want you to pause here, find your breath by a 
allowing the breath. Connect to the relationship you have with yourself. How do the salutations serve you? I mean, just so you know, the benefit is um, cardio to get your heart going. How can you be in service? Don't worry, we're not doing any more. <laughs> so you know, I'm scars right now. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and do two more rounds, that's the beauty of your practice. Go for it. If you feel you're being calling that energy forward, honor it. Otherwise, weight goes into the right foot, left foot to the upper inner thigh. Inhale the arms overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart, slide back, warrior one. So from a different vantage point, hug into the midline, draw that thigh bone in, plug the right thigh bone back, hug the outer hips, draw into the core, inhale the arms overhead. Arms go forward, plug the arm bones in, left elbow underneath the right, drawing in, Left knee comes up, crosses over, Utkata, uh, Gurudasana. Eagle pose, if you want to wrap the arms all the way, go for it. And then inhale all the way back up, Rikshasana. Okay, coming back to where we were. Yay for balance. So one thing I have had most everybody request are balancing poses. Both feet to the ground. Release the hands. Inhale the arms overhead. Exhale all the way down to the earth. So the idea of a vinyasa is to be connected to the breath. Inhale, find length. Exhale, bow. Inhale, open. Exhale, bow. Inhale, open. Exhale, bow. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to the heart. Release the hands. Right knee comes up. Foot to the upper inner thigh. Inhale, arms overhead. So you're not steady. That's the idea. It's not about just balance. It's understanding of the dance between effort and ease. And being of service of contraction and expansion and how the opposing energies can help find your center. And that's what we're in service of. And then draw in, you're gonna have hands come down, knee bends, foot glides back, warrior one, realign. So use the breath, inhale, right? There's an internal rotation. Exhale into the external rotation, ground into the earth, and then inhale, expand. Right? Feel the connection to you. Don't just offer out to the beyond. Inhale, arms go forward. Plug the arm bones in. Right elbow under the left. Right? So you're holding the shoulder blades are in. The ribs are in. And then inhale, the right knee comes up. It crosses over. Eagle. Garudasana. And then inhale, rise, foot to the upper inner thigh, back into Vrikshasana, back where we began, enjoying your breath, your connection, and then exhale both feet to the ground. Standing in Tadasana, Samastihi, feel the balance of energy. This is what we're in service of, working with the opposition, not being in the negativity, not in the criticism, not in the judgment but rather being the observer, collecting the data to understand how we can be of greater service. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, into the hips. Three breaths here. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha, halfway. Exhale, all the way. Inhale, peaking. Exhale, bowing. Inhale, 
thigh length. Move the feet out as far as you need to. Come into a yogic squat. This is different for everybody. It's really the relationship of your own body. So how are you using the, yoga, the practice to serve your physical embodiment? Do not ignore pain. Do not try to push through. Don't, what is it? Toughen up, buttercup. But rather arrive, awaken, and allow. And that includes acceptance. Come all the way seated, knees come together, spine grows long. So you can bring your shin bones more tabletop. I recommend you, um, you can actually lift and stretch the toes. I'm gonna point my feet again. That's part of my healing journey. And draw the shoulder blades back, pull into the center. Inhale the arms up overhead. Drawing into that center. Don't be fooled, it looks really easy for me to do, but this is a pattern that's very programmed in my body. And it's hard, keep breathing. Awesome, you're gonna stretch the left leg out, arms come to the inside, right foot grounds down. Draw in, if you can reach around and bind the hands, great. It's overrated, in my opinion. But since I'm honoring tradition, open the chest, open the heart. I'm also sneaking in some of my physical therapy. Draw in, enjoy the breath. Deep inhale in, and a deep exhale out. Come back through to the center. Arms come forward. Now, if I was a maniac, I would make you stand down and come up standing, but we're not going to do that, okay? We're going to go back the way we arrive. So you're going to draw it. Both knees come in. Plug the arms in if you can. Arms overhead. Ribs are drawing down. Shoulder blades are drawing in. Thigh bones are pulling in. Outer hips are hugging in. Throat is open. You feel the extension. And then feet come to the earth. Hands come to the ground. It's not about being graceful. Come back into that yogic squat wherever you need to be. Push the feet into the earth. Inhale all the way up standing. Exhale, hands to the heart. Now how do those poses serve you? Okay, I'm doing poses that aren't in my regular practice. To both shift patterns, to be patient and embrace humility because that's an essential, essential ingredient that nobody likes to do, but hopefully you can do it at home where nobody's watching. <laughs> Here we go, inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, back into that yoga squat. Good news is you don't have to do this little flow three times, but we're doing lots of steady flows and feeling a repetition in the way we move in and the way we move out. And in the steadiness of flows, come all the way seated, right? Pull into the midline. So if you need to reset, bring the feet down, hug in, find the length in the spine, draw the shoulders, hug to the midline, engage into that core. See, my toes want to go up. Toes can go up or don't go down unless you're dealing with foot stuff right now, okay? Pull it and draw in, rise up. So you want to stay rhythmic with the breath. And then you're going to come all the way back. Right foot comes out, left foot stands down, arms move forward. Okay, as they move forward, this is big in of itself. You're getting a stretch to the back. It's a forward bend. You meet yourself where you are. If you want to, hands reach back and bind. Opening, so it's an open twist with the hands bound. Take it or leave it. But awaken to what, what is the pose bringing you? What is the offering? Is it offering? 
Can you be playful if you're stuck and negative and serious? And then inhale, come back through the center. Free the arms forward, plug back in, lean back, feet come together. Arms sweep up overhead. You belong in your own being. And so we're just getting out of it. We're not being competitive with it, even though it may feel that way. We're just awakening. Feet come to the ground. We have endurance because we have air, earth energy on our side. Come back into that squat. Push the feet into the earth. Inhale, rise all the way back up to standing. Stand tall. Hands to your heart. Three breaths here. Feet hopefully feel extra grounded. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale, the arms overhead. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, find length. Exhale, hold forward. Bend the knees. Step back into plank. Feel the connection into plank. All the way to the earth or not. Right? Cobra or upward dog. And all the way back. Down dog. Hmm. Inhale. Right leg goes to the sky. Open the hip up. And then exhale. Step the foot through to the lung. Pivot the back heel. We're going to go into triangle pose. I'm going to use a block. Push the feet into the ground. Thighs are moving back. Core is engaged. Outer hips draw in. And then find length. Inhale into a trickle. Awesome. Connect to your foundation. Is your left hip popping forward? And if so, how can you connect this rib to hip as the tail stretching back, right? Push through the ball of the big toe and then feel the expansion. And then exhale, bend the knee. We're going to go into side angle pose, stretch the arm by your ear. Now, because I offered a bind, if you want to bind yourself to the pose, great. Go for it. And then exhale, hand comes to the earth. You're going to spin the back heel up, hug the legs towards each other in a low lunge twist. And then exhale, both hands to the ground. This is where I'm going to use two blocks. Both hands to the ground, push into the foot. You're going to straighten the front leg, square the hips off, draw into the belly, find length from the spine. And then you're going to inch the back foot in, ground the heel. So you have to bend the front knee again, ground the heel. Intense leg stretch from triangle pose. The foundation is different, so you want to adjust. You don't want to perform, you want to practice. And then exhale, bow. Exhale, lunge into the front knee. Step the foot back, knee to the earth. And just another little twist. Now, if you're here in this twist, lunge forward, pull in, bend the back knee, open the shoulders, so shoulder blades come to the back, and open the heart. So we're just getting our heart opener in a low lunge with a thigh stretch. Exhale, free the foot, hands to the earth. Inhale, plank. So you can go straight to the earth or exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open the heart. And exhale, back downward dog. Oh, I already went to Pilates this morning, so my arms are very tired. Okay, inhale, left leg lifts. Right, so we're going from open hips to closed hips. Inter external rotation to internal rotation. So opening it up, and then exhale, 
out, stepping the foot through to a lunge. Ooh, sorry, that was not light at all. So, block or no block is up to you. Find your ground. Engage in that ground. Okay, don't complain about it. Recognize it. And then inhale, knee to bend the back, knee to bend it. Draw in. These ribs tend to open up. So feel this side line contracted. So this side line can extend. That's the opposing energies. Tail stretching back, shoulders to the back. Plugging those arms in and opening into Trikonasana. Stay with your breath. Bend the front knee, stretch the arm by your ear. Okay, you can bind if you want to. It's more about the rhythm of your breath right now. Hmm. And then exhale, hand to the earth. Okay, spin the back heel up. Find that lunge. Pull into the center. And then twist. How come I knew that arm would not let me twist? Enjoying your breath. <laughs> and then exhale, both hands to the earth, four blocks. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Feel the connection. Now you're gonna bend the front knee to really get the calf fired up. Push through the foot. Shorten your stance. Ground the heel. Even out the pelvis. So there's a lot of lift and the, the work is coming from your core, by the way. So the thighs are pulling back. Arms are plugged in, shoulders are drawing to the back. You're feeling actually more of a tightness uh, connection between the bottom of the right rib cage and the right hip point and more length rather than the opposite. And bow into your intense leg stretch. Exhale, lunge, knee to the earth, lean over, and twist, and in that twist, you're going to draw back in, bend the knee, find the foot, open the heart. I'm, so what my practice is serving me is I'm such, uh, have to think out of the box and get out of the comfort zone, that sometimes or not all the way to the floor. And it's totally fine to reset. Inhale, open up. You've got to learn how to reset. Exhale, back, downward dog. I have no pain in my heel right now. No nerve pain. It's all because I went to my osteopath. Walk your feet forward. He literally is a miracle worker. Bow all the way to the ground. He does non-aggressive manipulation, cranial ma manipulation. He always does ask me why I didn't become an osteopath. And a lot of what I teach and the way I teach is through the transmission I've received because I've been going to him since I was 13. Ground into the earth. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale the hands to your heart. And when you can connect to yourself, and bring forward an awareness without the judgment. Do you like what you see? Do you not like what you see? But more from the vantage point of cultivating the relationship with your inner world, you automatically become of service because in that intentionality, then you transmit out into the world the interconnectedness because you can see that light in other people. You can see the need to really cultivate uh, connection to our private realm, which is, nobody knows what I think except for me, even though I, it appears I talk a lot. <laughs> Big inhale in. Full breath out. 
and now arms stretch up overhead. You're gonna bend the elbows here. Hug the elbows, you can bring your hands back behind your head or hug the arms into your head. It really depends on the length of your arms and what you have access to. Draw the shoulder blades, both shoulder blades draw in. Feel the connection, lift up, open the heart. Five breaths here, really steady, smooth with the breath. And then extend the arms out so you're in a standing back bend. Oh, it's really intense for me. I hope you're in finding connection for yourself. Inhale, come up. Exhale all the way down to the earth. Inhale, find length. Exhale, bow. Inhale, find length. Exhale, bow. Inhale, find length. Exhale, bow. Inhale, find length. Then both knees. Step both feet back into plank, knee to the earth, or just go straight into side plank. Big, full breath in. Right, again, feeling this top rib cage tighten so you can get space through the bottom rib cage. And then exhale, hand to the earth, inhale, plank, I'm going to side table. Knee comes to the earth, pivot. Opening up, I highly recommend going all the way into the side plank. Heeding my own advice, realizing how much I overextend on one side and, un and contract on the other side. Exhale, both hands to the earth. Inhale, plank. Feel the connection as you melt all the way to the ground. It changed my mind. Now come all the way to the earth, pillow your hands and just melt. Breathe in to do all that we've done. Forearm planks and hip openers and thigh stretches and balances. Really honor how much you chose to engage with. And breathe into that honoring. You're going to inhale and take your gaze forward, unravel the arms, you're going to stretch your arms out to the sides, okay, straight out from your shoulders, push into your fingertips, lift the elbows up, draw the shoulders into the back, draw the ribs in, draw into the core, and then inhale, rise up. This is honestly as far as I can go, okay, I run into bone on bone. But I want you to lift up as high as you can, keeping your shoulders into the back, keeping your legs hugging to the midline. If you want to bring your heels together, bring the heels together. Not necessary. If it bothers your back, take them wider apart. Breathe here. And then exhale, hands under the shoulders, feet ground down. Inhale, upward dog. And then exhale, knees come to the earth. Cross your ankles if you can. Come all the way seated. You can transition however you like, though. And in the transition, stretch both legs out in front of you. Ground the hips to the earth. Find length through the spine. Dandasana. Feel the fingertips. Shoulders are drawing in. Inner thighs are anchoring down. Outer hips are grounding down. Just feel the danda of the spine, the staff of the spine, the pillar of your support. What are you a disciplined? What are you disciplined in? The negativity or really being of service? Can you pull back and expand your awareness? 
to really honor the relationship you hold with yourself, with your practice, with your home, with the environment right around you. Mainly the environment within you. Can you breathe five breaths into just this awareness of being grounded and seated, but receptive? And then hips are going to come forward. I'm not going to push it. So I'm going to take a block with me. You might find um, you just want to go bridge, wheel, bridge, okay? But I'm going to use a block. So the option is to go bridge, wheel, bridge, okay? You could also do wheel, wheel, wheel. You could also do bridge, bridge, bridge. You could do any kind of combination, all right? That is there. We've opened up our shoulders. We've opened up our hips, our quads. You might be surprised, especially if you've been working on keeping plugged in, connected to your center. As soon as I came, before I laid down and thought of that flow, my body said, not for you. So I'm just sharing that that's the transmission. For me personally, it's find the block, draw the shoulders in, inhale the hips up, come on to the block. Okay? If you're going to go wheel, bridge, wheel, or any combination, I want you to inhale, create the offering. And then the next round of breaths, you engage in the offering. You feel the pose sustained. And then the next breath, you dissolve the offering. You transition with consciousness and awareness. You're allowing the breath to serve the pose, the breath to serve the body. If you're choosing to be on the block, support a bridge with me, then enjoy. This has been a stabilizing practice. And in that stability, then you can create. You can create with your own energy. If you've done the three, then slowly come to the earth. You're going to rest. If you're doing supported bridge, you're going to draw the shoulder blades in to the midline. Thigh bones are pulling down. Outer hips are hugging in. And then you're going to pick up one foot and then the other foot. You're just going to come to tabletop. And then you're going to stretch through the heels. Now, for anybody else, you could go to legs up the wall or shoulder stand. You feel we're in a very similar expression. I know it looks weird with my toes curled, but it's wildly helping. When your physical therapy is to pinch a towel on the floor, you wake up that energy in your foot. And then you stay creative with it. That's Virgo energy. That's how are you in service of your own healing? And then we're going to bring the knees back to tabletop, shoulders to the back, bring the feet to the ground. Inhale the hips up, move off the block, lead with your inner thighs all the way to the earth. Arms stretch out from your shoulders like a T, knees roll over. Inhale, come back through the center. Knees roll over to the other side. That time, there's no way that time is right. Inhale, come back through the center. Once you find your center, pause, breathe, connect. Knees into your chest. Giving yourself a little hug. More like a reclined child's pose. Then we're going to go into wind-relieving pose. 
which you know why it's called wind relieving pose, right? So that you do fart. So you relieve gas that gets stuck, which is Virgo, mutable earth is all about digestion, right? You've taken in the nourishment, you've digested, now you can release it. Isn't that wild? And then exhale, feet to the ground. Legs stretch out long. I don't know what time it is, but I'm just gonna trust the rhythm of my own inner clock and come to this moment here. Now, as you rest on the ground, I hope there's an energy of feeling settled. And wanting to breathe into the deeper layers where you can feel the trust and the movement of energy. That you can let your head get heavy, the arms, the hips, the legs that the density of your bones can receive your breath. That when we truly are of service, we hold space to be able to receive and allow to alchemize and recalibrate. where we can return to our natural state of calmness and peace so that when we return to the rest of our life, we're renewed. Just as you are, breathe and breathe into exactly 
who you are. Enjoy the rhythm the breath brings back to you. Reconnecting, reawakening. Remembering your own ability, your own strength. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Remind yourself of your ability to choose and what are you going to choose to rise up with. Inhale the arms back behind you. Stretch long. You're going to bend both knees and roll over to one side. And then slowly come up into the comfort of your own seat. And as you sit with your brilliant self, Lulu did Shavasana finally, that you can sit with the brilliance of your light. That brilliance of your light is your soul awakening, enlivening, enriching, and evolving. And when we allow our practice to be in service, then we can find a rhythm of our own accord through the relationship we hold with ourselves. And as we honor and value that relationship, then we bring forward a greatness. That with each breath, each step forward, each time the earth rises up to meet us and our heart beats with that great divine spark, and we make the connection, we feel into our beings and we feel that we can have hope, that we can step forward and we can engage, that we can be real, that we can be true and be soulfully you. Straight from my heart to yours for the highest good of all those concerned. Namaste. May you be well and may you be soulfully you. It's, I don't know what else we could do. Right? Okay, I will be here next week, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9.30. If you're going to tune in live, obviously the replays are always here for you. Whatever avenue you're engaging in, thank you for tuning in. And um, if you want to become that lunar uh, contributor, uh, helping to look at it as an inv investment into the practices that will allow your wisdom to come through, that an investment into you, even though it feels like you're investing into me, you're really investing back into yourself. And I will put the, if you're watching on YouTube, the link is in the, the description. And if you're watching here on Facebook, it's in the comments. Peace to you all. I appreciate you deeply. And, um, Be kind, right? That's just so much of what the world needs. Look, even Lulu says, yes, please be kind. Look at that sweet girl. Okay, ciao.